Hey, what's up traders? This is Dave Fix Hunter. This video is going to be a little bit different format because I want to try it from the phone today. And uh, as well, I want to show you about a journaling because I was asking in my channel about it and many people has the same answer as actually mine was right so yeah i have a trading journal but i have never been doing it uh, really properly so uh this is actually the app in the notion where i have uh, duplicated uh, one uh, trading journal from one guy and i have a um, little bit improved it into my into my needs right so uh let's look to the let's look to the weekly review and here is a weekly review right so i have started to do it right now right so i said <laughs> not so consistent in it right so basically here i got uh, this week review right so the outcome the monday range has played out perfectly which i will show you in the minute then uh, high or the low of the week was on the tuesday what the market profile has played so there was uh, amd right so basically we have the possibility of the one hour fvg entries during the new york sessions after the asian low was taken where was the explosive move on the wednesday after the manipulation on the tuesday right so that's something kind of uh, what uh, we are talking about in my channel and i'm still repeating it right so uh, important is to write it down so you can see that it's really uh, repeating and uh, we will see what i have learned in this week uh, even though i was actually wrong with the bias right so my performance was two trades and uh, they was wrong because uh, I was really married to the bearish bias because I thought that we will go below the previous month low. And uh, here is uh, my reflection. Uh, I wasn't probably so focused as I should. Uh, I definitely improved uh, my journaling as uh, I can sh I'm showing you now. This is uh, what's all in my journal and where I could improve uh, definitely in the checklist because uh, now when I'm looking at back into it and doing the reflection, I see my mistakes, right? So this is really important because before I was like, okay, this week it didn't work for me, you know, or this week it worked for me, but actually don't know, you know, you don't go to the details, right? So by doing this, uh, you can really learn a lot, right? So here is uh, how it played out, right? So, and it is a possible trade which should be uh, taken, right? So uh, I still don't have a didn't find the application to draw, but uh, just try to bear with me. I think you will see it, right? So basically, we had the open with the gap, then was uh, Asia, quite quite uh, quite uh, wide range, then the manipulation during the during the London you can see in here, and then the distribution during the uh, New York session, right? So in here, I have uh, entered it short, which I will show later. But uh, the mistake was that I was actually expecting the price to go even lower, right? So that is a Tuesday. And you have, again, we start with the Asian session, then the manipulation during the London. Manipulation, which tested the low of that gap, right? So you can see it works as a support. And also the Monday range, you can see these green lines, right? So green line in here, this one, the bottom one is a Monday low, and this one is a Monday high, right? So you have the Monday range. So price basically dropped below the Monday range. Then it changed the order flow, right? Moved higher. And during the London, during the, sorry, uh, New York, there was a possibility to enter on the pullback from this uh, yellow, it, which is the one hour fair value gap, which I will show you later. And if I were targeting just two R, right, that would be possible outcome with the profitable trade. Then the Wednesday, uh, it was, e was now it looks easy, obviously. And next time I will repeat, uh, remember this pattern even more. So we have, again, the Asian um, accumulation, then manipulation during the London session, during, during the new, uh, during the, uh, sorry, it's a Frankfurt session between the between the Asian and session and uh, the London, right? So during the Frankfurt, there was a manipulation, and then started the expansion during a uh, London. However, this is uh, quite difficult to catch this trade. But then remember, right? We going here. We are we having expansion. So I was explaining the profiles in my uh, in my CLS video. Look at it. Uh, there is an expansion and after the expansion, we have a consolidation. And after the consolidation, there is no possibility for the reversal, right? So there can be only the expansion, consolidation, expansion, 
and then can be reversal. So this means that shorting in here would be a mistake because you're basically providing a liquidity, right? So then there was a possibility for the entry during the beginning of the New York session and targeting the Monday range high, right? So that was the two possible trades. Then uh, we have the Thursday, which is a day before a uh, non-farm pairs and then the Friday, right? So these two trades uh, should be avoided uh, in a trading, right? So this is my review. I basically brought uh, these notes for me. So Monday price open with the gap, Tuesday uh, price uh, AMD, right? Wednesday clear, uh, targeting the Monday range high, right? So and here is actually one shot, one kill entry. So if if I'm taking it with just a swing trade, not the intraday trades. So this is something what. Uh, should be traded right so again we have the monday range then we can see how the price actually break the structure in here this high with this wick right hope i hope you see it and then retraced beautifully into this one hour fair value gap where should be potential entry uh, stop loss below the low or it could be just below the monday range and targeting the monday range high right so it looks like easy trade right and uh, this patterns i'm telling you it's repeating a lot Right, so this is a notes for the euro. This is a notes for the dollar, right? So it's actually the opposite, right? So I have wrote uh, some notes. I'm not going to bother you with this, right? But uh, here is important what uh, I have uh, drawn on the charts, right? So, and uh, I, I drawn the possible trades. Actually, I started to trade uh, dollar index also. So I'm trading the both right now, right? Because sometimes one of them is more clear. So we can see again, the opening with the gap and again, AMD, right? You can see accumulation, Asia manipulation during the London and then the New York. There was actually the retracement much clearer than on the euro. You can see there is a retracement into the inverted fair value gap, which is this one, right? Price uh, retracing into it. Or actually could be trade in here right so it's really easy to see it right uh, in the hindsight and set uh, I would enter in here in there right uh, you might think it's uh, not useful to do it but it is useful to do it because you training your eyes with doing this right so there was this trade and by targeting just two R, you know, you would be nicely out of the trade uh, before it started to reverse, right? So again, what happened in here? You can see we have actually, this is a Monday and we can see here is a Monday low, this green line, and here is a Monday high, right? So then on the Tuesday, we have the Tuesday in here. And then again, Asian session, accumulation, London session manipulation into the Monday range high and the Friday US session, right? And then started distribution during the uh, New York, right? The distribution started and there was uh, actually again one hour fair value gap, right? Where the price retraced into it exactly into the midpoint of that, right? So if you don't using this uh, in your trading view, use the boxes with the midpoints. That's the best levels, right? And then the price you can be targeting 2R, which is uh, currently my target. Uh, I do not want to stay in the trade longer, right? However, you can see you could, I could be, I could be targeting uh, uh, more in here but you know in the journal you want to be realistic and you, know, you want to be uh, doing something what works for you you know and then you can improve then you can extend right but this is uh, what uh, i'm doing with my journal right and then uh, on the wednesday we can see that we are actually already taking out the monday range high then we are in the middle of the range there is a tight green line probably i don't know this one if you see it right and then asia is uh, is uh, accumulating around it then there was manipulation remember in the 50 percent of the range which we have this any range there is always kind of a pullback or something like that right so this pullback happened in here into the again inverted fair gap my favorite level then price dropped uh, perfectly you would enter in here right in the perfect world but uh, uh but uh, uh, i do not want to do a journal like a perfect trade i want to be realistic what i could potentially <clears throat> really catch right so uh, in here then we have again one hour farewell gap and price retraced into it and we targeting the monday range low right so obviously i'm not doing these videos to uh uh to uh make it nice or whatever but you know 
of course I could set up that stop uh, target uh, to these lows but again 2R is perfect and uh, this would be potentially these trades are really possible to take you know on the dollar index and then if you imagine you can you have these trades uh, on the dollar index then you have uh, another two trades on the euro then you don't need to trade anything else right and then again Thursday Friday uh, there is uh, of course this uh, um, non-farm payrolls week protocol right so here we can see again how it would look like on the one hour and here is how it would look the one shot one kill entry right so again you can see uh run above the monday range high then there is a fair value gap one hour after the break of the structural retracement and you can target uh the monday range low right so that's if you if you if it is possible for you to hold it that's uh, also the option now i want to show you one more thing uh basically uh, if we look to the weekly plans and here was my plan for the previous week where I was actually thinking that euro will uh, move higher and then it will go lower right so I said uh, I was actually wrong on this and uh, same also on the dollar uh, obviously right so but now I will show you something this is why the trading journal is very important I have my trading no stops and here I'm writing everything what I did wrong uh, or I do some expertise and now I want to show you this this is really important uh, and look so it's end of the month of the of the or the quarter and here is a trend changes right so this is what actually happened uh, this week I was expecting the price uh, to drop down below these two lows right because of course why because we targeting uh, liquidity right it should be expected to be hit down here but you can see uh, as is this green box this is where the new month actually started and price didn't go to the liquidity and it reversed right so i was like thinking what the fuck i already have seen this and i already been wrong on this a few times right so i went uh, through some charts and look at this this is for example dollar index in the november i think it's last year i didn't go too much far but uh, i need to do more expertise about it right and again in here i remember because i was wrong in here also right look uh, we have actually the price is in the downtrend going up going up going up right and then you can see here we have the how it is uh, tugging to the lows right and it all looks like it will go to this uh, highs right uh, before it really completely uh, kind of reverse right so we've all been maybe not all but i've been expecting the price to go up but look again new month started in here you can see here on the bottom november has started in here and price didn't care about the liquidity anymore and it's simply reversed the trend right so that probably has to be something uh, what makes these changes and uh, make the price action not uh, continuous right so again same in here just think about yourself uh, right you can see these two equal lows then the price is uh, taking this high in here and then it's sharply dropping down so you would be expecting it to go to these lows but look new month started in the may and price basically completely reversed without taking these lows right then it came there later two months later right but it did not care about it in here right while it was like some kind of obvious right so yeah this is uh, why the journal is great thing and uh, uh, now i will remember it for the next time right so it's quite funny i'm trading uh, 10 years and uh, i finally started with my journal but how, uh, <laughs> yeah so this is what it is now again hey here look uh, another my notes i have the monday range and then accumulation manipulation distribution plate on the monday range low and we targeting monday range high high monday range higher right and again here accumulation manipulation distribution pattern right so basically this is all you need uh same uh here right we have monday range accumulation manipulation what was the levels look this is a breaker last down candle before taking out the liquidity once we close below it we have a one hour we have also one hour fair value gap and the breaker you can see how exactly into this midpoints of these two levels we received the manipulation right all during the new york kill zone before the price continue all the way down to the monday range low 
right so yeah uh, i will show you a little bit more i uh, hope it's not boring hope you learning something and uh, maybe getting at least inspired right so here is for example i'm also writing all my mistakes down right so here uh, you can see what's wrong in here right so i said uh, uh, i was uh, married to my bias and expecting the euro go down into these lows right? so i basically said okay now we are on this uh, hard time frame levels i will be shorting in here right it's opening of the new york session but what was the mistake right we had the expansion consolidation there then cannot be a reversal i simply forgot that and uh, i was thinking like it has to go down in here right and uh, i was actually trading what i think and not what i see right so mistake but now when the mistake is journaled it will be remembered right and i will not do that right so this is my trades uh, on the euro manual trades right uh, so basically entered a short in here on monday which was good and here on the tuesday you can see there was a accumulation asia manipulation during the london and then when there is a change in the delivery in the order flow right you can see it here on the end of this trade in here i should close the trade because it's a clear sign that everything is changing but what i did is that uh, i let the price uh, continue higher and then the next day in here we had again accumulation manipulation consolidation right and without any uh, confirmation on the lower time frame i have added one short right so yeah so mistakes uh, are possible if, if or but only if you learn from here right here is a bitcoin uh basically uh again uh, my model i didn't trade this uh, trade but uh it was good for me because at least i didn't bought on the spot right so basically we have the previous monday range uh, taken then the price uh, is doing its thing we have the breaker in here right so i actually recorded the video about this and wrote uh, all these uh, uh, entry and the strategy uh, things which has to be in there right and this is how it played right and now look uh, here i have to mark out that i have to take a profit on the 50 percent but look what in the end happened right so basically he was the 50 percent of of this range right and in the 50 percent i would close a trade right but as you can see if on the higher time frame the level uh, the the higher time frame level which is this yellow one on the bottom is not uh, traded into yet then probably uh, it's uh, possible to keep it uh, or at least take a 50 percent on the 50 percent some partial and keep it uh, for a longer time right but in here for example this was uh, i'm now doing a kind of a crypto also right <laughs> drawings so here is a solana and as you can see uh the range low was taken and i took a i draw the trade <laughs> from the range high and as you can see price dropped lower so you know testing my uh this my uh strategy uh and you can see how exactly on the 50 percent it reversed right so it's definitely good every time take out something on this 50 percent what else i have learned in this week mm. yeah and in here um i have uh, i have learned some kind of important thing right so if again so let's start in here right so we have um don't remember what chart is this but it's not important chart is chart right so we have the range previous weeks high right so here we have the accumulation below it expansion after the expansion coming the reversal and here is the breaker this yellow one and you can see sometimes i was expecting price to uh, come back into it and continue lower right uh, and then you can see what happened in here right price basically didn't do that and went all the way down to the range low right so then i was like a little bit like oh fuck, why i didn't do that right because look once the price close with this with, the, with this candle below it then there is entry on this small wick on the 15 minutes right so basically what i have to do i must have alarm prepared below these candles uh when they taking the range high in here right so yeah so yeah this is the weekly review and uh, kind of a uh, showing uh, what the really journal can do for you and even if you're not right in that week uh, you can learn a lot of valuable things all right my friends this is the review bye bye